Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Imagine with me, for instance, that someone, maybe a military man, is mandated to go to Sambisa or one of these hideouts for terrorists, and then he goes there with a short nicker, like he's running, and then a short nicker, a t shirt, a bottle of water in his hands, and his sneakers ready to fight the destination is correct but the preparation is wrong because what you are about to face there is not a race the people you meet in a warfare are not your competitors they are enemies in a race you don't have to fight enemies are we together you call a race competition not warfare but you call a battle warfare not competition so knowing the various dimensions i hope god is speaking to someone already knowing the various dimensions that are captured in life and destiny helps you to make sure that as you sojourn make sure you have the regalia of an athlete so that if you do find yourself in the field imagine now the flip side of the story imagine that someone gets into an olympic field carrying ak-47 rpg well dressed with the helmet and stands at the line together with the rest as soon as they say on your marks set go he starts shooting around the correct destination but the preparation is wrong then the bible says i have kept the faith this is very powerful that means there is something at the end of your life at the end of your life and destiny there are some things that should still be with you there are some things that can drop on the way childishness youthfulness but there are some things you should protect and never lose if at the end of the race you do not find them you lost your life you don't have to be dead to lose your life to lose your life and to lose the faith means someone would have taken your bishopric. You can lose your bishopric. You can lose your lampstand, your place, your relevance, your influence. Very powerful information. So he says, I have fought the good fight. In other words, when I began my journey, I didn't know what to expect. He's mentoring his young son in the gospel. He said, listen, you are a young man and you are going to face life in a dynamic way let me teach you how to prepare for life do not prepare only to run you must prepare to fight and you must prepare to keep and to protect that means your arsenals should carry the armory of a warrior should carry the clothes of an athlete and should carry a treasure chest if you will allow me to use that word because there are some things that need to be guarded and protected now there are people who see life only as a battleground unfortunately when life is presented to them as a race they are busy shooting around and wondering why they are not making progress because that is not the demand for that scenario are we together imagine someone who has a beautiful jewelry gold and all of that he puts it in a treasure chest and keeps it somewhere outside maybe close to the road and says nobody should touch it just leaves it open and goes away it does not know that there are many people who desire that same thing are we together and he leaves it there only to come and find that it's been taken away i had to meditate on this scripture myself and to pray for myself it gave me such a profound revelation life is a battleground but not a battleground alone. Life is a race, but it's not a race alone. Life is a gift that must be cherished and protected. So in my preparing for life and destiny, if I find God training me like a warrior, I don't feel I'm losing because there is a place for that training. There is a point where God will suddenly change your training. Listen carefully. 
and you find out that in a strange way the training has switched but you still want the training of a warrior alone and God says remove all your warrior garment why are you on the shorts of a runner an athlete God I thought I'm going to be fighting all my life and then there are times you would come for training and the only training you will receive is how to keep things and you'll be wondering God I should be fighting there are many people because you do not know this dynamism you have refused to attend certain classes in the spirit listen carefully and it is about to become catastrophe in your life a mighty warrior is only relevant when he's in the battlefield when a warrior gets to an a, a stadium to run that warrior can be a disaster because the requirement for being a good athlete is speed agility not just they are not just being a warrior are we together so this up front is a message for you respect and discern and believe the various forms of spiritual training that God is subjecting you to are we together there are some of you when you see God training others as athletes you want to leave the battleground and just go and change your regalia and God is saying remain there the amount of time it takes to train a military officer is not the same amount of time it takes someone to run is that true there are people without any training they could run and win but it's impossible to shoot and shoot excellently without a training there are people who naturally they can keep secrets they can storm out things and keep it there but there are people who have to be trained my call for you tonight listen to me these three groups of people are scattered within this congregation this night as you are listening to me although everybody is listening to the same thing it is not the same thing the holy ghost is doing there are some people through this teaching you are receiving the training of a warrior make sure you discern there are people you are receiving the training of an athlete there are people you are receiving a training of one who needs to know how to protect what is given to him god by this training week in week out for some of you you have not even started the training of a warrior he decided to start with you on how to keep so every time you see people praying the prayer of a warrior you laugh because the level of your own training is just to protect you don't worry keep the class going eventually so don't be surprised God has never told you to fast for 40 days he has never told you to pray it doesn't mean he won't say it you are still in another training that does not necessitate those equipments you will get to a point in life for some of you the reason why God did not start with the training of a warrior is because you had the privilege of being close to a warrior so there are battles you didn't need to fight somebody else's victory you are still enjoying it but make no mistakes about it there is a battle with your name on it I have fought I have finished I have kept if you fight alone your race is incomplete have you finished if you finished alone your race is not complete these three things must be captured in your life and your destiny I have fought I have finished I have kept some people have fought they even finished but when they got to the finish line they didn't find their soul again what shall it profit a man in in the process of running they left the major things in life looking for money looking for fame and they lost their soul other people lost their bishopric at the end of their life when God showed them the blueprint of their destiny they were told that they were supposed to be mighty apostles and revivalists but they found out that they ended up being civil servants till they finished they lost a bishopric he says I have kept the faith are we together so when you come to church don't come to listen to what you want come to listen to what uh, listen for the things that are needed and don't be surprised when God suddenly switches in his training with you and becomes unusually strict he did not change his view is another kind of training 
he's giving you and don't stop somebody from being trained as a warrior just because you have been trained as an athlete because there are times that you can see you can be be trained as an athlete or one who will keep secrets and you look at the rigorous training of a military man you can go to him and say no god does not train like this my own god only trains you on how to keep things that's a dangerous theology because everybody in his lifetime you must be trained to fight you must be trained to finish you must be trained to keep turn it into a prayer request i obtain grace oh god the grace to submit to the training that builds me to fight i obtain grace someone is praying to submit to the training that empowers me to finish i obtain grace to submit to the training that helps me to keep and preserve my bishopric the mandates given to me in my life and destiny go ahead and pray are you praying no eye has seen no ear has heard what god has prepared for me so i submit to your work in me till christ be formed in me ah. no eye has seen no ear has heard what god has prepared for me so I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed. No eye has seen, said, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed. No ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your word till Christ. One more time. No I has seen No ear has heard what God has prepared for me. Your wisdom be formed in me so I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me that's why you are here it's a training for some of you here find strength you are going through the training of a warrior the nature of the job description of your destiny does not just, you are not just going to be keeping your bishopric. There are battles to fight that you have no idea of and you have to be trained. Like the mighty men of David, the Bible says those men became mighty. One of them stood in one position and fought 800 people, slew them with the sword and the sword would not leave his hand. Someone trained him so i submit to your work in me till christ be formed in me yes i submit to your work till christ you can miss certain classes in the highest institution of learning and you can read up during exam there are times you may be maybe sick or you may be busy or just careless and you may not attend certain lectures when you hear that is the time for an exam there's what we call tutorial and you can sit down and in three hours summarize the lecture 
but in the school of destiny any class you miss even if it's after 30 years you must write that exam again you can get anointing and miss character 101 character 201 and after 30 years the absence of character 201 even though you have anointing will reduce you back you have to sit down and pass that exams you can study anointing 101 and forget finance 501 and say it does not matter the cry of your children the cry of your wife are we together the cry of everything around you will bring you back to that school listen it is true that no knowledge is a waste but every time is not conducive to learn everything imagine a woman of 55 years wearing um a short you know skirt and blouse this thing that they wear in primary school and you sit down in the midst those students are young their minds are still alive a woman of 55 years in primary school congratulations for her courage but she will most likely keep getting zero in everything because she will be sleeping when other students are alive and it is not wrong if she did what she should do she should be sleeping correctly at that time listen there are some of you I don't mean to scare you but you came to know Jesus Christ late there are some of you your family had altars you don't have any leverage of godliness to give you an edge in life some of you right now what you are learning is not even for your destiny yet what you are learning is to correct the rubbish that you met before you now start stabilizing for your destiny so when somebody whose father is a missionary whose mother is a prayer warrior whose wife is an intercessor whose first son is a prophet can he can miss service for three weeks they have these systems of advantage but for you is witches and wizards all kinds of demonic people around you and you also join to miss the service till christ be formed in me let me tell you in this kingdom the king's business requires haste are we together you've heard me say it takes time to know god you know let me tell you sincerely when I see the kind of attention and the laxity sometimes that believers show towards the things of God, there are times that people come to church, a message is preaching like this, and they are browsing, they are just gisting and laughing and saying, in fact, I'm just, I'm enjoying myself, honestly, this place, what you said is correct, and they are not learning anything. When you come to the house of God and the word comes, anything that distracts you, find out what the bible says is the name of that thing it is the devil it doesn't matter whether it comes as whatever five minutes of accurate training being taught the word of god will give you the tools for some of you you are almost done with your training of a warrior maybe what you are receiving tonight is the helmet and you can stand and heaven can clap for you and say we can go to the next training some of you the day we gave the sword you were not there you didn't come to church and you were careless about it so you are a warrior without a sword because the day the training that gives you the sword is there you were not there and you didn't care to listen there are some of you as you are like this you are already in the battleground but you are naked from head to toe you need to listen to the things that will equip you fast because the, the, the war sound is about to start and it does not care whether you are prepared or not. The Bible says there were cries in Rama. The little children were innocent but they were, did not have the training of military people. And you would think life would spare them because they were children. They all died. Man of God. Could it be that the teaching you are about to hear tonight is what you need for this season in the ministry for someone you are watching online and God is already speaking to you you have learned how to fight but you've not learned how to finish be careful so that you do not clap for yourself too long you can fight but unfortunately 
if the exam that is set before you requires an athlete you are in trouble students are allowed to read everything our school of ministry students wrote their exams I think it was last week or so a week before last and they were taught across a number of courses they will not be told what question will come out are we together the student can have an idea but as a good student you read everything when you get to the exam hall because you have read and you are fast is that true when they ask questions across several subjects you can respond but there are students who just guess where they want and just read and then they get to the exam hall question one to five none of it was what they read did they read yes did they read well no i'm preparing for destiny i agree but let me see what you are doing for 10 years all you have been doing is focusing on battle you will be surprised that the fight you want to fight god has put you in a ministry where that grace will do that fight for you and by the time you'll be having your own fight you should have used the time to learn how to run so that when that battle comes your training plus the training there will give you a leverage and you simply move listen in the name of jesus i pray for you every dimension of training you need in your life you will not lose you will submit yourself and you will learn you will be thoroughly trained some of you have gone through the training of a warrior you have gone through the training of an athlete but you have not gone through the training you have not learned the dynamics of how to keep what is given to you until the end hmm. forget about acquisition Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.